So this is the Tudor Black Bay 58 brand new GMT. It has a black and red bezel. It is an all new movement as well. It also can come on the T-Fit and it looks amazing. I agree. I think it looks amazing. I want to say that Tudor definitely took Rolex's Tundra and they came out with the Coke. I love the vintage style with it being a black bay. So you have those gilt golden numerals. You have the gilt uh, accents all over it. The black and the red just have a different tinge than a, 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 like a very hard, vivid red as well. It's a very good move by Tudor. And I think this extends, in my opinion, Tudor's consecutive years of great, great watches and wonders entries, in my opinion. So we now also have the new Tudor Black Bay. This is an all new black colorway, so it's a black on black monochrome. So I really love this. I think we've been looking for a black on black for Tudor for a long time. I think the Black Bay is a perfect place to put it. We have the new T-Fit bracelet as well on a rubber and a new five link bracelet. Two bracelets I'm really loving from Tudor. Again, I think these are great natural progressions to the Black Bay line as something that fit really good in their overall collection. Just overall wins from the brand. Yeah, I feel like with this size and this fit with the bracelets is a what a lot of people wanted from the Pelagos and it's yes. probably gonna kind of kick the Pelagos down the ladder and be like this is my spot now um, but oh, of course Pelagos is a little different but this is a really good look and a really good colorway and I hope to see it in a few more sizes and uh, a few more iterations as well yeah all eyes on the Pelagos for next year for sure for sure so this is the brand new Tudor Black Bay 58 18 karat with the full gold bracelet green bezel green dial I think I'll call it the Leprechaun. Ooh, I like the Leprechaun. That is a great name for it because it is a little bit smaller than the other gold watches out there. And it does have an interesting character. Let's just say that on its own. I think this is an interesting watch. I love the introduction of it on the leather shop in the previous version. So on the full gold bracelet, not a piece that is gonna be for everybody, but I do think it will find its following. And I do think on the wrist, a lot of people will enjoy this watch. All right, we're over at the A. Long and Sone booth, and to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Datagraph, we have a brand new Datagraph Perpetual Turbion Honey Gold Lumen. This is amazing. Oh, what can I say here? We have all the amazing complications that is the Datagraph Perpetual Turbion with the beautiful lumen. So you have a beautiful tinted sapphire um, dial that lets you see all the amazing movements uh, that's going on. So you see when the date switches, you see all the chronograph engagement, and this is perfection personified, Mike. When you're talking about Lange, you talk about sophistication, you talk about complication, but you're also talking about beauty. And this is for me what this represents. I really love the look of the semi-transparent dial. You get to see the, the, the jumping discs and they're just beautiful behind there. And it's, it's a much more subtle look than a fully transparent dial where that would subtract, subtract from readability. So it, you get really great functionality, really beautiful and great readability all in one. Yeah, I just want to hit this with a black light right now and turn the lights off and just see it glow. This is cool. All right, and here we have the Datagraph up down for 2024, tomorrow, the 25th anniversary of the Datagraphs. This is limited to 125 pieces. The Datagraph now in an up down configuration in a beautiful blue dial mic. I think this watch is just as old as you are, right? The Datagraph itself, right? Born in 99, I just remember that. It's a gorgeous piece. I think it's amazing in the up-down. If you're a Longy lover, if you're a Datagraph lover, this just, you know, it strums your heartstrings, let's say. I think, I mean, great things are born in 1999. You can, <laughs> it's just the truth. And I think Long is really where you, you see beauty and complication come together. And I, I really do see this with the blue on blue and the, the complications that complement complement themselves so well, each other so well. And they don't feel like they're all thrown together into one hunk of a watch to just have a bunch of complications. It's so well thought out the way it all comes together for long. And that's a great way to celebrate the anniversary. Yeah, for sure. You know, the one thing they know how to do is aesthetics in the long way. And this one proves a point 100%. Amazing piece. Yeah. All right, Mike, so we just took a trip over to JLC. And all I can say is wow, wow, wow. I am a big JLC Duomet fan and this year they decided to revamp the Duomet there's been a little bit of a dormant collection for a little bit but it is one of those sleeper collections in the brand and right now we're looking at the Duomet 
Quantum Lunaire, and it's a stunner. The first duo met in stainless steel. They now have dome crystals. They just really refined the whole watch. Uh, you know, brought it into the, the 2024. It's modern, it's sleek, it's felt, it's sexy, man. I love the watch. Stainless steel case, beautiful blue dial. Um, gives you gives you everything you want from a dual met. Price at 44000 To me, it proves again why JLC is the top of the free chain when you combine watchmaking powers with having the collector in mind and making sure their pockets aren't beaten up to, you know, a pulp. I think JLC has proven over and over and over again how you can get top end finishing, the top end mechanical performance, the top end everything. Yep. That's why they're the watchmaker's watchmaker. And JLC has done it again with this piece and many other they have released this year. And it's an it's an amazing look, it's an amazing feel, and it's just, it's a beauty. And when you see it, it just strikes you with the moon phase and how it's all brought together with the, with the blue, um, the, with the different shades of blue, it's just beautiful. Yeah, amazing. The watchmaker's watch has returned. I love it. This is the JLC Duomet Helio Turbion Perpetual. And when I walked into the JLC experience, this is what I gravitated towards. It seemed like the piece de resistance, the, when you see the spinning balance and how it spins like a globe, it is just, it is amazing to look at. And it's amazing that it's not some humongous timepiece. It's actually something that's wearable and something that's so beautiful to look at in both form and functionality. Form and functionality are the two words that you really think of when you look at this watch. It's beautiful. They already brought back the Duomet. You didn't think they'd, you know, go over top and bring you the Helio Turbion. This thing is amazing. Perpetual calendar that is amazingly easy to use. You can set the time backwards and forwards without worrying to break it. And you have that Helio Turbion spinning on three axes. Uh, you can just watch this thing spin like a top all day long and as you said in the beginning super wearable not a thick watch at all i was surprised when we walked up on it and um taking like a 360 view of it how thin this watch was very wearable something that if you got on the wrist you know you'd be able to wear this almost as a daily wear even though i wouldn't wear this as a daily wear because i'd watch i'd stare at this watch all day and get no work done truly truly a masterpiece in watchmaking in a very very um accessible and attractable form. All right, so here we have the Dual Met Chronograph Moon, and this is basically a reproduction of my favorite uh, Dual Met of the past, the Dual Met Chronograph. And again, they just kind of revamped thing, uh, revamped the piece, make it make it a little bit more modern. You have a domed uh, crystal there. Everything's a little bit more smooth, a little bit more tight, you could say, and it's just gorgeous. You have those little cutouts on the dial towards the bottom. So you have a semi-skeletonized dial. On this particular one that I'm looking at right now is rose gold with a silver dial, and. Again, I just love it. It's just a modern interpretation of that watch that I love so, so much with the moon phase there right on top and that chronograph and that sixth of a, six, sixth of a second, um, a jump in second that I really love. Uh, that action is just dancing, man. It's like a ballerina just spinning. And again, just a, a beautiful piece that I'm glad to see back in the rotation. JLC didn't just release it in that variation. They also released a salmon and platinum, which oh. is just an iconic... Heavy hitter. Beautiful looking configuration for such an amazing and complicated watch. And I love the, how the colors play with the moon phase and the cutouts. So you get your skeletonized feel, but you keep your readability. You keep your beautiful salmon dial for, you know, when you want to look good, when you want to match with your outfit. So it's really, you get everything you want with this. Yeah, it's really going to be hard to choose which dual met is a dual met to get out of these, right? Especially with that steel one being a consideration. I'm, I'm a chronograph guy, but I could definitely see somebody saying, give me one of the chronographs and give me that steel piece. And of course, if you're somebody who can sw swing it, you go for that Helio Turbion because I, that's one of the best, craziest Turbions I've seen in a long time. Well, well done, JLC. Kudos to you guys.